Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we are on a desert themed island. This island was done by Matilda on Instagram. I will put her socials on the screen as well as her dream address. Matilda has provided us this cute outfit that I'm wearing right now, as well as a lot of other gifts. So here we have Matilda and Matthew living on the island, as well as Anka. Of course, you have to have Anka. Carrie, Faith, Flip, Olaf, Annabelle, Tembra, Tucker, Solil, and Tianxing. So very desert themed and colored villagers. I'm really excited to show you guys this island. So let's get right into it. Also for this tour, I have downloaded a custom design by Darling Crossing on Instagram that she created just for this island. So let's get right into the tour you guys you saw the entrance and if we head to the right we have a villager home here this is Anka's home she's not home because she's right over there hanging out but she does have this cute little rooftop area I love it so all the interiors are complete on this island so let's check out the house that's right here Wow, the details of this main room are insane. She cleverly blocked off the other rooms, which I plan to do the same on my own island because interiors are hard and I don't find them fun just because I'm not good at them. But this is like incredible detail. There's so much depth and dimension here. Let's check out upstairs. So upstairs is complete with a balcony overlooking the desert. This is so beautiful. And here we have the dreamiest basement. It looks like a lot of castle vibes here again with the dimension and detail all of the plants I love it and let's move on and now we are coming up on Able Sisters Abel's has been so cleverly hidden behind the castle walls. It looks so good. And if we continue on the path, I believe we will find nooks. And if we backtrack a little bit, we will head to the beach. And on the beach, we have a fortune teller spot. As well as a beach cafe. Oh, this is so beautiful. All of the details here. Wow, I love how she put these... Um, can't think of what they're called right now, but I love how she used those to make the area separate. Wow. Now between Abel's and Nook's, Resident Services is surrounded by castle walls. So let's head up here. Looks like we have a little seating area, some drums along the pathway. On her peninsula is a seating area as well. Can overlook the beautiful sunset out here. 
Now we are going to head into the desert. I'm so excited for this. This is the desert oasis right here. Oh wow, this is so pretty. All of the colors. And just a little bit of water for our desert. And when we continue through the desert, we will come upon the dig site area where we have some little gyroids and fossils and an area for Blathers to do his work. Even complete with a tent and some food. And behind the dig site, we have another oasis. I love these rug designs. And if we keep heading to the left, we have more desert. Uh-oh, and watch out for scorpions. Can't be stung by one of those. And now we have come upon the desert resting area. And now we have came across the palace. Check this out. What a beautiful courtyard for the palace, complete with a luxury pool. And let's go inside. This is a palace, all right. It looks like we have a place to check in. Feels very luxurious in here. And let's check out the upstairs. Of course we have some gold up here and a very valuable statue it appears since it is sparkling. I love the little seating area with the giant desert windows that is so creative. And then over here, such a nice little room, like a bedroom for a very luxurious hotel. I love it. All right, so headed away from the palace now, we just have some empty desert over here. Laying down all of this path had to have taken forever. And Looks like we are at the post office. Here we have the post office and some neighborhood houses. This is Annabelle's house. She's not home, but she did decorate all of the villager interiors. Here we have Olaf's house with a nice little enclave for his bed. In a cute little kitchen. I love all of the colors used in here, even the soup on the table. Just matches so perfectly. And here we have Solil's house. This is such a perfect like rooftop vibe. And I love the seating area here. Here we have Tucker's house. Again, perfectly decorated 
look at the curtains on the window and I love the giant desert view out of the window like it's perfect so leaving that house we are going to come down oh and look at the seating area she put up here and now we have two more homes And here we have Tembra's Elegant Hideaway. Very elegant furniture. And her kitchen is cleverly hidden right there with a little see-through through the curtains. And here we have the second house. This is Carrie's house, but she's not home right now. And down here, we actually have the campsite. If I can figure out how you get to it. Oh, using the entrance. And there's Carrie right there and here we have the campsite and you gotta love a beautiful beach campsite on this island it's so colorful all the trees and details behind the campsite she's put so much love into this island and I appreciate it so much. And to the left of the campsite is her dock. Just a lovely place to sit by the sunset and to just enjoy it. But let's head back. And here we have the second river mouth. She has been very creative with both of them. It just looks like a little canal going through the city. And the other one was an oasis. But all of these things through here. So many details, you guys. And this just brings us back to the beat, uh, back to the desert. So let's go back down here and across the bridge and we are actually by the airport yes we are by the airport which is right here so we are almost done with our tour but let's head up into the neighborhood part two which is actually a dining area. Oh wow, check out the colors here. This is a rooftop restaurant. I love it. And we have two more villager homes back here. This is Flip's home and let's go inside of this one. Here we have Tianxing's house. I love it you guys. I love how he has two double beds next to each other. Just gives it a whole different vibe and I'm here for it. So beautiful and here are the exteriors of those two homes lovely and serene with the two water features and then we have a rooftop seating area 
beautiful. And let's go back down to, I believe, the final villager home. And it's Faith's house. Faith has a lot of gold and purple and glamorous items in her house. I love the two chairs at the table with some coffee or tea right there. And of course, loving the exterior of, Faith, of Faith's home. And then we're gonna go from the airport entrance to straight ahead. And I have a treat for you guys. This is the King's Palace. Check out how she made it. This had to have taken forever. This is the best view I can get of it because this tree keeps appearing on my camera. But I am obsessed. I love it. And then to the right of the palace, we have the market. Check out all of the things for sale here. There are a ton of things. This is exactly how I've seen these markets like on TV. It's very accurate. And the different designs on the ground. Wow. And it looks like we have the island creator hiding back here. I love this little market though, it's so detailed. And I actually found the prince over here you guys. This is Matthew. Join me for tea in my palace so he must own the king's palace. So maybe he's the king. And I realized we did not go to the secret beach. But it's just back here hanging out by itself and I want to go see if I can find the island creator. She was hanging out back here. We gotta watch out for scorpions. Here she is. Matilda, remember to stay hydrated. Thank you, my love. Our dresses look so beautiful. So I'd like to finish off by saying thank you so much for letting me visit this island and record it to show all of our viewers. This was such a unique desert island. I had so much fun touring it. I will put the dream address in the description below as well as the creator's socials and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, if you like this theme, if you've ever tried this type of theme. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.